Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be doing a beer can chicken in the Oklahoma drum smoker. All right, so to start with, we'll need some beer. Gone with an assay and passion fruit sour from Pirate Life. Hoping it's gonna add a really nice fruity flavor. And then we've got one of our favorite chicken rubs, the Heavenly Hell Rock and Roll Rooster. Love the artwork on that stuff and it just tastes out of this world good as well. So got some paper towel. We'll start by just patting some of the skin dry and then we'll give it a season and get it on the can. So when you open your chicken out of the vac seal or whatever it's in, you wanna make sure you get all the juice out of the inside of it. Um, patting the skin dry, I think helps crisp it up a bit as well. Um, the benefits of a beer can chicken to me, I guess is you get that nice 360 degree crispy skin. Um, can't remember, to be honest, I haven't done a beer can chicken in years, whether or not the beer actually adds any flavor. I guess it will sort of baste it from the inside out, so you're probably gonna end up with a, a juicier sort of chicken. Um, apart from that, I don't see many other pros to doing it, but we'll find out today. I'll um, be open and honest with what it tastes like, if you can actually, in fact, taste any of the beer influence in the meat. But for now, we're just gonna season this up nice and generous with this rub. We've got our smoker set up. Just gonna go with some olive pit briquettes as usual. Got a nice chunk of pecan from Natural Smoke. Bronco's so easy to set up. Chuck your olive pips in as much as you think you're gonna need. Put them in a pile, chuck a fire lighter in. Wait till the briquettes catch light. And then it's just leaving your vents open and uh, wait until your smoker comes up to temperature. So we're gonna smoke this at about 300 to 320 degrees Fahrenheit or around that 150 to 160 degrees Celsius. Serve it up as a roast for the family a bit later on. So might add a bit more seasoning. Once we've got it on the can, so I might lose a bit once I get it on my fingers. So now what we've got to do is position our chicken on the can and hopefully it'll stand up in the smoker. So open it up, this can be a little bit tricky, but if you've got a big enough bird, it's not too bad. There we go. So you can sort of get the feet out or the legs out like that. It's gonna stand up in the smoker like that. So I'll probably just add a little bit more seasoning from where my hands have rubbed it off. We'll wait for our smoker to come up to temperature and we'll get this thing on. All right, our smoker's ready. Let's get this chicken on. All right, so we had a couple of options where we could have put the chicken. We could have used our cooking grate and put it down on the second level, but we've chosen the upside down heat deflector because it's a better, flatter surface, just in case we accidentally knock the smoker or for whatever reason, the can's gonna be much more stable on that upside down heat deflector. So we're basically just gonna let this go now for a couple of hours, I assume it's gonna take, and we're gonna take it until we reach an internal of 165 Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius in the thickest part of the chook, so we'll come back soon. All right, about an hour and a half in. Let's have a look. Ooh, that is looking good. Have a quick check of the internal. Still got a little way to go. I reckon it'll be another half an hour, 45, and that will be done. That is looking so good. Get this lid shut back up and come back soon. Now to go with the chicken, I've done some duck fat roasted potatoes. What I like to do is cut my potatoes up. I will partially boil them so they soften a bit and then I'll coat them in duck fat and do them either in the barbecue or the oven. And to take your potato flavor to another level, this is called Potato Pimp, a great rub by Heavenly Hell. I add it to my fried chicken, my chips, my roast potatoes, and the flavor just pops. And if you wanna know how good duck fat roast potatoes are, just listen to that. Nice, crispy, soft and fluffy on the inside.
Mm. So if you're looking for something special to serve with your chicken or anything else, duck fat, roast potatoes are always a winner. And if you want to take your flavor to another level, check out the Heavenly Hell stuff. All right, so our chicken's ready. It was about a two and a quarter hour cook. I'm gonna get some high heat gloves on and get this thing out because we need to be very careful. All right, let's have a closer look at this thing. Whoa, looks so good. We'll let that sit for a few minutes and then we will taste. All right, this is gonna be a bit tricky getting the can out, but we'll make do. Keep our high heat gloves on and have a shot. Plenty of juices coming out. Make sure you got some paper towel handy when you're doing this. All right, a little bit tricky getting it off the can. I think what would be a better option is sitting it in a foil tray and doing that process so any liquid spills out in the tray and not all over your cutting board and on the floor like I did, but it's been a while since I've done it, but it's all good. Um, let's waste no more time and have a taste of this thing now. I'm just gonna take a little slice out of the breast. Smells incredible. That meat is so juicy. Nice, crispy skin, juicy meat. Mmm. Mmm. That rub is incredible. Honestly, I'm not picking up any of that beer. Slight fruity taste. I don't know if it's the beer or if it's just my mind playing tricks on me. I do like how you get the, the full crispy skin. Hope you can hear that. But that is... Take a bit off the leg as well. Mmm. That's incredible. That's really flavoursome. That's going to be a winner. I don't think the beer really adds any flavor. I think it does help keep it more moist as it's basically basting it from the inside out and it might help it cook a bit more evenly too. If you've done a few more beer can chickens than me, I haven't done one in a long, long time and you know a few more pros and cons, let us know in the comments below. Obviously still very tasty, good fun to do and it looks great with that 360 crispy skin on a chook. But, whoa, great flavor from that Heavenly Hell rub. Always a winner. I'm going to go carve the rest of this up, serve it with the family. So thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We've got so many cool videos coming out over the next few months. Always looking to improve our videos going forward. So... Make sure you subscribe, turn the bell notification on if you want to be notified when our next video comes out. And apart from that, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.